This week in Ken's Tech Lab, we're going to try and fix a problem that I'm having with my X1 Carbon AMS. Stay tuned. As everybody can see on AMS, and I'm using my cell phone for this, is because I can lift it up higher and, and show you guys closer, is that I have a red right there. All the rest of them are fine. I pulled the filament out of all of the um, different ways in, but that one seems to stay red. And I cannot unload it, so there must be some, some filament stuck on a sensor or a sensor stuck inside of it. So today, I'm going to tear it apart and find out why. So on the back of the AMS, you're going to see that the Bowden tube goes down to the, um, I call it sort of like a, uh, it lets it queue up some more filament and it's a little spring inside of it. Right there. And then it goes into the printer on the other side. With the AMS completely off the printer, now I have a way to take it apart and find out what's going on with this. So we know it's in that culprit right there. So let me tear it apart and I'll bring you back. First thing you have to do is take the two screws out right here with one on each side you can probably leave the silica packets in there if you're using them they shouldn't hurt anything taking this out okay so on the back of here there are two there's a ptfe tube that runs right inside here the only thing you have to do is on the on this you can see this little flap back there and you're going to think oh it's just a rubber piece but if you take your two fingers and push it in it'll release the PTFE tube and let you uh, pull it out the back and then you have it as a separate part. All right, with the box out of the way, we now we have full access to everything on the AMS, including the bottom or any of your filament, if it does get stuck, should be stuck between the filament here the runout sensor and the um, PTFE tube. So let's see if we can find the problem. One thing you're going to see inside of here once you take this and turn it over is, let me see if I get this focused, on the back, on each one of these screws, there's two per um, the filament runout sensor that is on the other side, and there's a void sticker. And they didn't put it on one, they put it on each, uh, there's two screws per, and they put it on one of the screws for each one. So this is where you have to ask yourself, do you want to fix it yourself or do you want to call Bamboo? So after working with this a little bit, and I found the culprit. So if you look at the back, there is black filament stuck as it probably broke somewhere inside. So you wanna make sure that you put the screws back in the way that they were. Make sure the bowed tube is back in and secure. Now we'll go put this back into the main case. Just wanted to show you guys the empty um, I would say a container box that the AMS sits in. Not much to it at all. There is a um, mod for this, for the actually AMS. And I'm not doing that today. Even if it is a part, I will do that another day. Just with a word of caution, these two little screws are going into plastic, so do not over tighten them. 
So everything is back in. We just need to put the PTFE tube back on the back and we will be done. All right, if everybody can see the tube, the white tube going through the plastic right there. Coming out the back. All right, let's see if we fix the problem. All right, so we're gonna have to put the PTFE tube back in where the spring is. Now, if everybody knows that it's really inside there, a little deep, I used a pair of needle nose pliers, but there is a uh, part on printables that you can get that will slide over the PTFE tube and let you push the release. All right, with the PTFE tube back in, coming from the AMS, the power data plug plugged in, we are ready to turn it on. So the good sign that you always have is when you have no filament loaded and you have the lights blinking in, in succession like that and not red, that's always a good sign. All right, to make sure that we didn't hurt anything, we're going to load a color in every single one of these. And we'll start out with the bronze. So now we have it there. All right, we loaded up all the colors. They uh, loaded, white light means it's good, ready to print. So we fixed the problem. So the whole problem with AMS was this piece of filament broke off and it's regular filament, regular PLA, uh, broke off and could not get it out without taking apart the AMS. So if you have a problem with your AMS, don't be afraid to fix it. Go ahead and tear it apart, take whatever problem is out, get it out of the way and put it back together again. This is Ken from Ken's Tech Lab. Stay awesome.